astronauts to the moon. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Jaronism here. Uh, just doing a quick video. I'm working on another one, but uh, I wanted to do a quick response to Alien Fossil Project. Uh, I was watching a few of his videos this morning and kind of getting a little upset, um, accusing me of getting a paycheck or being crazy. He says that if we believe in flat earth, it's one or the other. So I wanted to give him a quick response. Uh, as far as your $100,000 challenge goes, if you look at the screen, uh, that is the flat earth model. So before you make comments, why don't you watch some of our videos and actually think of what we're saying and use your head. We're saying that the outer edge is Antarctica and you're not allowed to go there. So uh, I can't get you a picture, but uh, if you can get me a pass to go by and go to Antarctica and get a free walk to the edge and you're going to pay for all my equipment and everything else you need, then I'll happily go show you the edge, but uh, they're not going to let us. And there's a reason why we can't go there. So, um, just letting you know, that's why you're going to win your hundred thousand dollar challenge. Cause no one can go to the edge to take you a picture. I don't even know if anyone's ever been there. So <clears throat> another thing that you said was, um, that we don't have any proof, which if there was proof of a sphere earth, do you think that I would be here doing these videos? Absolutely not. Um, you know, everyone's in, entitled to their own opinion. I just expect facts to be uh, the basis for what I believe in. And so I'm no longer going to just trust what government says or trust what science books say because I've seen that those people are liars. Uh, as far as this image here, this goes to you saying that if the earth is flat, we can see all the way to the end of it, which is outrageous and, and uh, stupid, to, for lack of a better word. Um, there is actually a equation to figure out how far a person can see. So I put that equation on the screen for you. You can see letter A being the person who's on the land. Uh, he can see he's six foot tall, and the formula is the square root of seven times the height um, divided by four, and then whatever the square root of that number is is how far you can see. So you can see my person letter A, he can see 3.24 miles till the horizon. And then as you get higher, so you can see my person letter B, who I put was 70 feet, 75 feet high, he can see about 11 and a half miles. Then you'll see letter C, which is somebody all the way up in the airplane, who's 35,000 feet high, can see 245 miles. I can't really see my screen here. Um, yeah, 247. So imagine how much higher you'd have to be to see the horizon being all the way across the earth. So that's where you're just making no sense. None of us believe that you can see from one end of the earth to the other. We all know that there's a limit to how far we can see. So just pointing out again that you're not, if, if you're going to make comments about me, because I'm not making comments about anybody else's channel, but if I do, it's because I've watched their videos. So if you're going to make comments about me or Mark Sargent and, and say that he's not giving any proofs, he's just rattling off things and trying to make money and he works for the government with his smooth voice. All I'm asking you to do is watch Mark's videos or watch my videos. There's only, you know, five or six or seven. Watch those last five, six or seven. And then if you want to make a video and comment on specific posts or specific notes or specific ideas or proofs that I've given, then comment on those individually rather than make a blanket statement that Everyone who's doing flat earth videos doesn't have a clue with or is part of a disinformation campaign. Uh, that is the last thing that I am looking at or trying to do. I'm just getting people to use their minds and, and to open their eyes a little bit before they just buy in to things that are told to us and believe every single word they're told just because it comes from science, who we are told are, are brilliant, intelligent men. Uh, who have studied all the things that they say they've studied and have made these determinations. You said we have polished voices and polished videos. Look at some of my comments. I mean, I'm getting told by people to stop sucking my teeth and I'm making too much noise with my mouth. And so believe me, there's nothing polished about my videos or my voice. I'm just speaking truth. For more proof, if you look at the screen here, this is a... Let's see, there I went sucking my teeth again. At least I'm thinking about it now. This is a video from the ISS, and if you look at that 
purple or blue reflection right in the middle of the screen, a little bit off to the left, you can see that it, they are working in fast forward motion, meaning that this video, which shows them traversing the earth or going across the sky, is extremely quick, is, is fast forwarded to make it extremely fast. So that means in real life, it's much, much slower, meaning that they're not in space going 17,000 miles per hour. They're probably on earth going, you know, 600, 700 miles per hour. Or not on Earth, but I mean in Earth's atmosphere. They're not going very fast, and they're claiming that they're going 17,000 miles an hour, making a fool out of everyone. And so this is where I step in and say, hey, wait a minute, guys, this doesn't jive. This is somebody not telling the truth. So if NASA is going to lie to my face, and NASA is going to tell me that they do all these missions and that they take pictures of the Earth, but they're really composite images, and tell me that we went to the moon when I know that we didn't, then why would I trust them ever again? I don't trust liars. So if I don't trust NASA... You have to start looking at what are the reasons why they're hiding the view of the Earth from me. And that's where you come up with the flat Earth theory, is that there's nothing to disprove it. So I'm waiting for someone to show me proof that the Earth is a, is a globe. And I don't mean because there's one in every second grade classroom. If you look at the screen now, I have a couple people um, tried to show like a yellow hair to show you that the person on the top of the Earth and the person on the bottom of the Earth, um, that just makes no sense to me. I understand that they have come along and given us mathematical equations that say this is possible. But there is also laws to this universe, one of them being, or laws to the world, to the natural world. One of those laws says that two things cannot exist in the same place at the same time. Matter cannot coexist in one place and exist in another. And I trust that because that is what I see in my day-to-day -day life. I've never seen something in one place and it also be in another at the same time. So therefore, how can I be right side up on the top of the earth and then think someone in Australia also is right side up when to me, they must be upside down. So hopefully you can understand where that does not make sense. <clears throat> if you really wanted to do some tests for yourself, go outside tonight and tape these stars and understand that what they say we're doing as far as the earth is spinning. If you take a camera and show that shot of the earth spinning where you would be on the globe, you would not see the same thing that we see in the stars. The stars clearly rotate in a circle above our head. That's what they do. It's obvious. It is not from spinning. It's impossible. Now, am I saying that they haven't convinced 99% of the world that that's what happens? Absolutely not. I know exactly what they've done. And it was brilliant because they convinced me for 30 years. I just took their word for it. They're scientists. They're great, intelligent intellectuals. Why wouldn't I trust them? Uh, gravity must be true. Why wouldn't I trust them? Um, these are the things that I grew up with, that everyone grew up with, and they simply don't work. They simply are not true. Uh, you cannot live on a sphere. I know that they tell you you can. I know that their math says you can, but my brain, believe it or not, is better than their math. My eyes are better than their math to tell me where I live and what it looks like. If you need examples of areas that they're lying to us. Uh, just look at this picture here, for instance. One of the many proofs of the spherical Earth is they say the stars in the southern hemisphere uh, go the other way and the ones in the northern hemisphere turn another way. Well, it's another brilliant move on their part because mathematically what they're saying makes sense, but it doesn't make sense in real life. If you look at this picture, you'll see I drew two people, and I'm sorry my art skills aren't the best, but obviously the government isn't paying me enough. Uh, for art lessons. Um, if you look at letter A, uh, the person in the box A, they're both in the same room. They're both looking up into the sky, seeing the same three, we can call them lights, stars, whatever you want, red, yellow, green. And if you look at the bottom, if we stand behind each person, both those people are going to see different configurations. So this is the same way that the globe would work when, which way is the person in the south facing? Are they facing um, which direction. It would make a difference as to which way the stars turn to their perception. Another example of the same kind of thing would be we all grew up hearing that the toilets in the southern hemisphere flush one way and the toilets in the northern hemisphere flush another way. It's not true. Look into it. Call somebody who lives in Australia and ask them to uh, look in their toilet and don't just test one person because it depends on which way the toilet 
um, sprays the water out. It has nothing to do with where you are on the globe. So these are the kind of things that they had to put in our minds as kids. They had to force these. What I think everyone fails to realize who believe in the uh, cut and dry globe model, which just doesn't work, is they don't realize that this is a hoax. This is a this is them fooling us. So by you just buying everything that they tell you, you're going to be fooled. So that's why I'm here. Mark's here. All these people are just telling you to use your brains, use your mind, go out and investigate, look into things. Uh, don't just research on Wikipedia. You know, I think it's a great reference tool for things I need to see. What is the, what is the status quo answer here? What does the majority think? And then I can go investigate on my own. And when you start to see that these things that they're saying are lies, then you'll realize why we're making these videos. And it's not because we're government operatives. And it's not because we're getting paid. It's because we're tired of being fed lies as truth. And we see through this ultimate deception. This is the greatest hoax in the history of the world. The next thing I take exception to was... You clearly said that anybody doing a flat earth video would be burning people at the stake back years ago uh, when the Catholic Church was, um, you know, burning people, heretics, etc. Uh, so I looked up Giordano Bruno. I know he's one of the most famous, if not the most famous, uh, person that was burned at the stake. And they may tell you now that he was a scientist or, you know, um, but he wasn't. He was uh, basically speaking on religion and... He said some things that I believe in as well as him. So I would have been burned at the stake too. So I certainly don't want to burn anybody at the stake. I've never even dreamt of that in the you know any point in my life. Uh, he believed in a plurality of worlds, which I don't, but uh, he believed against the divinity or questioned the divinity of Jesus. So do I. So I would be burned at the stake too. I, he denied the virgin birth, as do I. I would have been burned at the stake. Uh, he denies transubstantiation, which is the changing of the bread and wine into blood and body, and I also don't agree with that. So what you're saying is not making a lot of sense. It's as if you don't understand history. It was not flat earthers versus round earthers, and the flat earthers were burning all the round earthers. That's not what it was. Most of the people who were burned at the stake was for making religious claims that were anti the Catholic belief. Um you know, one of those things being that they didn't want to say that the earth went around the sun. And that's why some people were burned at the stake. <clears throat> they had already decided that the earth was a sphere before that. So uh, my com problem with all that is if you look back, Copernicus said that the sun was 3, 000, 3 million miles from earth. Uh, now it's 92 million miles. Maybe you can start to see that what they're doing is constantly updating their numbers to jive with whatever the current belief needs to be. Uh, it's kind of obvious when you start really looking into it. Uh, you want more proof? I just put a quick video up here. This is another video you can find at NASA's site. It's one of their official videos. If you look up in the upper left-hand corner, you can see that they have created a globe. That little corner there, that little triangle slice, if you can see up near the upper right edge of it, it is, there's a little missing piece of it. That's not the earth sticking out. That is a missing piece of their little black overlay. So those things are all faked. This is probably a real image of the earth. I don't know. It could be a model. It could be real. It doesn't matter to me because once I see what they're doing, they're lying to me. So now when I watch their videos, this is, it isn't like I watch them and say, oh, this is true. Let me see where I can find the, the fakeness. Look at the glare right there. Do you understand that glare comes from a light, not a glare from the sun? So these are the kind of things where I no longer watch their videos thinking of them as truth. I watch their videos to see why are they deceiving me? Why are they lying? And if you start doing that, you'll see also that uh, everything they say is, is fake and there must be a reason behind it. I've come to the conclusion personally that it is because the earth is flat. Everything that they do is to beat up on that theory. Why would they teach everyone the earth is the earth is a ball and then make fun of anyone who says that the earth is flat? Tell the person who says the earth is flat that they're going back to ancient times. Tell them that they're wearing a, a tinfoil hat. You know, what everyone doesn't realize is somebody built the damn pyramids, be it 2,000 years ago, be it 4,000 years ago. 
regardless, you'll hear people, scientists every day, go to, go to History Channel. You'll hear scientists say, we don't know how they built them. We couldn't build them today. Well, these people obviously knew more than we did, or more than we think that they did. So when these people of ancient times thought that the earth was flat, were they really that stupid? You know, you need to ask yourself. I just showed this video because I was trying to point out that everything that they do is about theatricals and movies. Uh, this video is supposed to be the uh, liftoff of the Apollo 11. Uh, watch it carefully and you'll see they have the countdown, then all of a sudden they switch to movie mode, which is every different angle of the ship taking off, and they make people get real excited about the rocket launch and look at all the fire and look how fast we're going. And that's what people buy into. That's what people like. They are very smart. They understood what human beings are like. They understand exactly what our, how our brains work, what gets us going. And they also understood that majority rules. And they also understood that whoever controls the future, I mean, whoever controls the future controls the past. And whoever controls the present controls the past. So they know that they can just, as long as they're in charge, they can rewrite history all they want. Uh, I wouldn't make any claims to it being true yet because I'm not sure. I'm still checking into it. But I've heard and seen some things that lead me to believe that they added a thousand years to our history. Meaning that maybe possibly from the year four or five hundred through the year fifteen hundred never existed. Uh, I know people say, oh, you're, cra you're crazy. You're crazy. There's lots of, you know how easy it would be to rewrite history. Not nowadays. Not now that we have the internet, but in the year 500 and when they call the dark ages, when people were lost and confused and stupid and, and all these things that they tell us, are they really true? They also saw that our population would not be where it is today if all those years existed. It would be much, much greater. So what did they do? They told us that there was a plague and all these things that wiped out 70% of Europe. Um... Are those things true? They may be. I'm not at a place I can say it is true or isn't because I don't live then. And I can't call somebody who did and ask them. All I can do is look at books which can easily be rewritten, changed, uh, added to, subtracted from, uh, add people in there. They say, oh, so-and-so was Pope between 1200 and 1300 or whatever. And everyone's going to buy into that. So I'm just saying we need to do a little bit more research into things. And as far as the alien fossil project goes, I don't see aliens. I've never seen an alien in my life. Have I seen a UFO? Sure, I've seen ships in the sky or things that I thought were unexplained and I couldn't figure them out, but I also know that the government has much higher technology than they're going to tell us. So could they have been testing a saucer-like thing and flying it above the, the in the sky? Of course. So I don't believe in aliens. I've never seen one. Uh, as much as we hear people say that they've seen them, it'd be very easy to fake all this stuff. I'm not saying that people saying that they saw them are faked, but uh, you know, things like Roswell coming out and those kind of things could just be the government wanting us to believe in aliens. It's the same thing as NASA letting Buzz Aldrin go on TV and say that he saw aliens. Well, why would he? Why would they allow that? Well, because it reinforces the globe. If you think Buzz Aldrin saw aliens, then you know he went to the moon, then the Earth is a globe. What I'm saying is all those things are disinfo, as are alien fossils. Those are disinfo because you can't prove that they are alien fossils. They're just rocks. Um, the difference between my channel and yours is if you watch this back again or watch any of my previous six videos, you'll see I'm not making claims to things being real that people can't go test themselves. That's the whole point of my channel is I'm telling people, use your mind. Don't let people tell you things themselves. Do it yourself. Investigate. Research. Test. And from there, we can come up with the truth. Last thing I'll leave with is, again, this is a conspiracy. It's a hoax. So if you buy into everything that you're told, and if you buy into science, and if you buy in to these mathematical formulas and these functions and everything that they tell you without testing them yourself and saying, does this jive with what I actually see in real life? Then you will fall for the deception. That is the point. If you're able to realize you're an intelligent human being, you have a brain, you have eyes, you can then see past what they tell you. 
That's the whole point of my channel. That's the whole point of my videos. You need to wake up and look at things yourself. You are smarter than they tell you you are. You can figure things out on your own if you just really contemplate what you see in the sky at night. Contemplate the moon. Contemplate the sun. You will see what they tell you is not true. There's videos. Go look at videos of hot air balloons or, or weather balloons going up with cameras. Watch them. Watch what they show. Watch that if there's videos that show the sun, if it's sitting above clouds, there's a hot spot on the clouds. These are the kind of things I'm telling you. They're going to say it's 92 million miles away. You can go watch these videos and see a hot spot on the clouds sitting directly below where the sun is. The sun is above us putting a hot spot on the cloud. These are the things you need to do on your own. And Alien Fossil Project, I'm sorry I couldn't win your 100,000, but I can't get to the edge as soon as I figure out how or if they're going to ever let me. They've never let anybody. Why would I think they'd let me? And when I figure out how, then I'll take your picture and, and take your money. And I challenge you to go through any of my videos and tell me where I'm wrong. Rather than just say I'm crazy or I work for the government, tell me where I'm wrong. Show me proof that the Earth is a globe and I do not mean a picture from 1972. Proof. Show me proof that we are round. Take the distance from California to Hawaii, about 2,400 miles. That means there's a 770 mile high bulge of water. I say that's bullshit because the Earth is flat. <clears throat> Another thing that you said was um, that we don't have any proof, which if there was proof of a sphere Earth, do you think that I would be here doing these videos? Absolutely not. Um, you know, everyone's in, entitled to their own opinion. I just expect facts to be uh, the basis for what I believe in. And so I'm no longer going to just trust what government says or trust what science books say because I've seen that those people are liars. Uh, as far as this image here, this goes to you saying that if the earth is flat, we can see all the way to the end of it, which is outrageous and, and uh, stupid, to, for lack of a better word. Um, there is actually a equation to figure out how far a person can see. So I put that equation on the screen for you. You can see letter A being the person who's on the land. Uh, he can see he's six foot tall, and the formula is the square root of seven times the height um, divided by four, and then whatever the square root of that number is is how far you can see. So you can see my person letter A, he can see 3.24 miles till the horizon. And then as you get higher, so you can see my person letter B, who I put was 70 feet, 75 feet high, he can see about 11 and a half miles. Then you'll see letter C, which is somebody all the way up in the airplane, who's 35,000 feet high, can see 245 miles. I can't really see my screen here. Uh, flat Earth model. So before you make comments, why don't you watch some of our videos and actually think of what we're saying and use your head. We're saying that the outer edge is... Antarctica and you're not allowed to go there so uh, I can't get you a picture but uh, if you can get me a pass to go by and go to Antarctica and get a free walk to the edge and you're going to pay for all my equipment and everything else you need then I'll happily go show you the edge but uh, they're not going to let us and there's a reason why we can't go there so um, just letting you know that's why you're going to win your hundred thousand dollar challenge because no one can go to the edge to take you a picture. I don't even know if anyone's ever been there. So, um, yeah, 247. So imagine how much higher you'd have to be to see the horizon being all the way across the earth. So that's where you're just making no sense. None of us believe that you can see from one end of the earth to the other. We all know that there's a limit to how far we can see. So just pointing out again that you're not, if, if you're going to make comments about me, because I'm not making comments about anybody else's channel, but if I do, it's because I've watched their videos. So if you're going to make comments about me or Mark Sargent and, and say that he's not giving any proofs, he's just rattling off things and trying to make money and he works for the government with his smooth voice, all I'm asking you to do is watch Mark's videos or watch my videos. Astronauts to the moon. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Jaronism here. Uh, just doing a quick video. I'm working on another one, but uh, I wanted to do a quick response to Alien Fossil Project. 
Uh, I was watching a few of his videos this morning and kind of getting a little upset, um, accusing me of getting a paycheck or being crazy. He says that if we believe in flat earth, it's one or the other. So I wanted to give him a quick response. Uh, as far as your $100,000 challenge goes, if you look at the screen, uh, that is the 